Uh, we got Frank almost five years ago. One of the draws to getting the building itself was this long wall we had, this exposed wall. And it was a pretty easy thing to set up to start contacting basically our friends and say, we've got a 30 foot by 18 foot wall. Do you guys want to come put a mural up? Having that blank space, that blank canvas, we kind of had the idea to, to do something of the public art persuasion. We didn't really know what. We knew that we wanted it to be something fun, something that changed and kept the energy moving. And so we kind of made up these, these rules as, as we went, where we wanted an artist to install monthly, we wanted to buff it at the end of the month, give them 48 hours to install, kind of anything went type of uh, scenario and, and really letting them kind of speak. The original project started where we literally had an artist lined up every month. We were seeing the daylight. So on day one of the month, the wall gets buffed and the mural goes up and then it's up for 28, 29 yeah. days. There had to be a sense of urgency just because, like Jeff said, it, it is up there for such a short period of time. But also, it just kind of added this element of, you know, put up or shut up. You've got 48 hours. The focus is, is local and regional art, and we're trying to take care of the folks in our backyard. Um, special attention to, a lot of times, artists that are lesser known or haven't really had this sort of platform yet. Someone's got to be goofy. It's usually me. A lot of the artists have never done anything of this style, this, you know, this caliber and breadth. So it's kind of just challenging them a little bit. You can design something on paper and a computer, but can you put it on a 30-foot wall? You know, mocking stuff up digitally on the computer doesn't really kind of have the life that it does once you paint it and there's like uh, the texture and like like the roughness of the wall. It's kind of it's kind of really cool. But it's amazing how rough this stuff looks up close and then stepping back on the street it actually looks really good. At least to us. <laughs> the next four months has have been sponsored by Cat Metro, so we were kind of given an outline to keep it, to try to keep it transportation themed. I didn't mind having having the uh, those limits, those criteria. The, yeah, the criteria set, having like a theme to work with. It probably would have been a little bit harder to come up with something like just make art. Just came up with the phrase like taking it easy, you know, like getting on the bus, just not really have to worry about traffic and whatnot. We live and work in East Austin and have seen a lot of the changes um, and a lot of the hand-painted signs that, that you'll see one day and then a new business will come in and that hand-painted sign's gone. So they're putting all those guys in now. I hope that something doesn't get built on this parking lot that obscures it and that we keep the interest going and the, the community in, in engaged enough that there's always something new up there. If for whatever reason a skyscraper, and it will inevitably, they're gonna build next to us. It's down, we are in downtown Austin and there's an empty lot next to us. When it goes straight up and we lose that physical art wall, maybe that was its time and as the Buddhists say, <laughs> move on. Dirty <laughs> you know? hippie. I don't know, you know, we're just playing here and having fun in, in, in every capacity and keeping that creative energy going in Austin.